This is Sexy Funny Raw, where we chat all about the world of sex, from dating and relationships all the way to the adult industry itself. I'm Sylvia Sage, and this is my Porn Spective, answering all the questions you weren't even brave enough to ask Google. Get ready, because Sexy Funny Raw starts now. Wow, listen to that applause. I know. <laughs> it's I intense. Really want to, I want to re-record that because it was taken in my closet, and I can just feel like I know it's in the closet, but whatever. I came out of the closet, and here we are for Honey, another there's episode. N- there's nothing in the closet on this show, <laughs> I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Sexy, Funny, Raw. Uh, thank you to our sponsors, Fleshbot and Cybersocket. And let me welcome my co-host, Woo-hoo. Mr. Alexander, who, by the way, is the new director of Cybersocket.com. Cybersocket.com. I'm running the show. Woo! So and you know, exciting. it's funny. It's like I've always been a fan of the adult industry, obviously. Like, obviously. it's hours and hours. And, you know, your parents are like, stop watching porn. It's bad for you. It's like, it's my career now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I have a little surprise for you, if you don't mind. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Flesh Bot Award nominations came out. Hot mm. off the press. Hot off the press. Jesse Jones. Best cock, as uh, I say. Can we oh, the door? oh! Did you know this, Jesse? Jesse, did you know you were nominated for best cock? I, I to be honest, I just learned about it like two uh, yesterday or it, two they days just ago. came out off of the press. Also, a uh, uh, male performer of the year, by the way. Ow! That, that is crazy. Jesse with a Y. <laughs> uh, Miss Sylvia Sage. <laughs> yeah. Best fan site presence because your stuff really? on OnlyFans is so good. Wow. Also, uh, best milf. Wow, of the great. year. You and Alexis are going to be boob to boob. Oh, I love it. I, mean, I, wonder, I wonder if there's like a shelf, like sister I'd like to, because milf, I mean, come on, you're not. I know, but they've put me in milf maybe. since day one. I was 30 when I started, and I was milf day one. So it's like over 25 with fake tits, you just automatically go into this category. But why isn't there sylph, like stepsister? Sylph? Well, <laughs> I'm older than stepsister. Bad. Yeah. Mm, I know. I Trust me, I'm their babysitters. It's so fucked up. It's so weird. So silf. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, one of our guests also nominated for a flip. We're all nominees. Well, except I for love me. it. Uh, um, Ryan Carter and his partner, RC and Digger. Uh, best f- uh, favorite presence. Mm-hmm. Uh, that means your only fans is fire, which it is. I'm like, when do people sleep, by the way? Um, also, best social media personality, because not only do you bring the heat, oh. you bring like the sweetness and the couple stuff and, and all of that. So I love it. Yeah, we show up as a real people. As yes. real people. As Who real t- would have known? We Who could don't be wear real underwear, people. apparently. Wear no, underwear. they do not. <laughs> All I that mean, money from OnlyFans and you can't afford underwear. It's overrated. It gives me, like, it chafes me. I don't like it. Why don't you yeah, wear but it? There's like somebody Because I'm not comfortable overrated. with it on. Yeah, same. Um, I'm, I'm wear, I have next to nothing on because I, I get hot. I run hot. Yeah. So I had a feeling the studio would be warm. So I feel like men who don't wear underwear and I can see the tip of their dick, I feel like it's the same as women who don't wear bras and you can see our nipples. It's like, thank you. Thank but you. But doesn't it chafe after a while? It's like continually rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. No, the underwear yeah. chafes. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, this is no, better. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. more comfortable freeballing. Well, let's start by introducing our guests yes. so uh, they can continue <laughs> with this conversation <laughs> here. Uh, first to my right, I have Mr. Jesse Jones, uh, a longtime friend of mine in the industry. Uh, he won Foreign uh, Male Performer of the Year in 2017. And uh, we've been working together since 2005. You oh, you can't even time. recall it. He's okay. like, have we? I don't you know, even know. You, you know, I always remembered you by oh god, the, gr- the girl with two different eye colors. Okay, that's yes. the only thing. Good. Whew, okay. I, <laughs> I know, there was like a pause. I was like, what's he gonna say? Uh, you know, like I always, it, it would be like, cause you know, as a male performer, it, you you need to have two lives. Right. If, if you're a fan, if you're too much of a fan of the industry, you're not gonna last. Yeah. You're gonna be a year. Six months, a year and a half. You're too excited, and then, and then you're gonna be done. Yeah, because you realize that that's not that's fantasy. That's not life. Right. Work. And once you understand porn and you understand how it's made, it will fuck up the way you see porn anymore. <laughs> that's for sure. So basically, <laughs> yeah, I I remember working with you, and I could not for the fuck of me remember your name. Just the eyes. And then I was like, oh, wait. So I I checked my call sheet, and I would see Sylvia Sage. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, that's the girl with the She's two eyes. Good one. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I mean, I know there's a fucking name for the for the for the for the reason you have that, but I was just like excited because I was like, I know she's good. Thank and you. And didn't you? Don't you do like comedy? Of course. You do yeah. comedy, so that's why it's sexy, funny, Rob. So yeah. I was like, yo, this girl is funny, <laughs> and she can suck a mean dick. 
Thank you. <laughs> and sometimes I a mean, nice dick. Not, doesn't have to be mean. Uh, like, for, remember last scene we did for Adult Time or Pure Taboo when the cop Kier Croft was a, was like be yes. acting a psycho yes. and you were my. We, it was such a redneck fucking. I was a trashy, uh, trashy. like Long Beach or uh, Long Island. Oh, uh, I thought you said Long Beach. No, Long Long Beach. <laughs> well, I, Long Beach, I, I Long Island. About Long Beach. Yeah, no, it was great. It was great. Yeah, Shit. it was great. Uh, well, also joining the party today from my side of the porn world, tatted muscle daddy Ryan Carter is an adult performer who quickly rose to prominence through his fans' pages as part of the sexy daddy duo RC and Digger uh, with his husband and fellow, oh, uh, and together, you can see there, mm -hmm. uh, lovely. Uh, he's completely Hi. versatile and has performed in over 400 fan videos as both top and bottom. He also has done many studio movies and scenes for Icon Mail, Nasty Dead, or Tr uh, Treasure Island Media, Bareback That Hole, and Raw Fuck Club, which are the biggest. Both Ryan and his husband have been nominated for multiple entertainment Ooh. awards, and of course, most recently, for Fleshbot. Mm -hmm. oh. Thank you. It, it just got really hot in here. And they're so romantic, too. It's like, <laughs> yeah. romance with like 400 <laughs> other people. That's fun. I we, love it. We did it backwards. We did not plan on becoming um, porn stars. We we didn't plan on developing a career. It was really just a lark, just filming ourselves, and we we guest starred on some friends fan pages. This is right at the dawn of the fans page, yeah. like four or five years ago, and nobody even knew who what OnlyFans was or Just for Fans had just right. launched that year. Yeah, and we had guest starred, and I only I said you can't show my face. And so I only, uh, you, have to show, you have to, film, I know, I know, but I was too afraid of it being out there. Like I had too much anxiety and yeah. hangups about it. And um, so I said, film me from the waist down. And when I saw the video released, it was a five way. I was like, I'm a half a person. I thought it was ridiculous <laughs> that I was, I, I, I was like, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to own it. Yeah. So I decided that from that point forward, I was going to show my face. I was just going to dive in and do it full throttle. Nice. And then we, we launched our own fans pages. I always want to know what that conversation is like to bring up. It's like, hey, do you want to guest? And my, if, especially if you're not in porn, is it like you guys are having cocktails one night and get a little tipsy, and then everybody starts making out with each other, or what? You mean is that how a fans video gets made? No, no. <laughs> how, how, how you get asked to guest? Because nobody's asked me to guest. Well, we shit. Live, I, I, my husband and I live in West Hollywood, and we have a oh, lot of well, friends in the porn Northwest industry. Hollywood. Yeah, and so we have a, a lot of our circle of friends is, are in the industry. Yes. And so we were asked to guest star on their fans pages and this is when they were trying to starting to create their own content. And we were like, Yeah, sure. Sounds like fun. I mean I've been your friend for how many years and you've never asked me. <laughs> Do you wanna star in my movies? I'd probably just be like the butler in the back <laughs> <just> like, <laughs> 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 the guy in the corner watching everybody uh, fuck and just jerking off in the corner. Our cuckold. Yeah, yeah cuckold. You could be our cuckold. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Okay. So, um, I, Jesse, Wait, doesn't. I, I feel like he, he had some, something to say. Go, Jesse. I, I go. was going to say, is there such thing as a, like, gay couple, cuckold? Deal? For sure, there yeah. has to be. Yeah, because do you guys do cuckolding? I, I, I haven't seen a lot. Like, you it's know, not called. They usually join it's, it's called the three-way. I was gonna say they <laughs> join <laughs> in. Yeah. No, but there is, and you know, like there is a big fetish of just watching, which I happen to enjoy. It's yeah. like who needs that mess? I want to participate without having to participate. I get that, but yeah. I was gonna say in a in a man in an all men world, I feel like there is no just sitting on the sidelines. It's like no, I'm gonna actually horny. fuck you. Well, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, whole w men world. There's like <laughs> half of you guys are girls. What do you mean? There is just seven billion people on Earth. A half of no, it is I'm woman. saying in a men's like oh, gay yeah. world oh, in, like, West yeah, yeah. Yeah. in West Hollywood. Yeah, oh, Hollywood that's still happening. World. I don't yeah. know. I'm from Canada. So, you don't have gays uh, in Canada. We're there too. I was I, gonna I, say. I, I, I love Justin Cuckolding Bieber. Cuckolding is like a straight. No, we, we love gay. Thing. Yeah. Like, I don't really we, see it no. much in the gay community. Yeah. Yeah. In Canada, we we just accept everybody as they are and call. Well, yeah. Like you know, it's different. I just since I've been living here, I had no clue about. Like um, binary and non-binary, and, non -binary yeah. and then tra transgenders or a trans woman, and then I I knew nothing about that, and so I had to learn. Well, I and like I, I would be so stupid coming up to my friend like Liam Riley, love him, and I'd be like Liam, so you know. You told me you wanted to watch Netflix last night, and you came to my house, and we had a wine party, and you slept in my bed. <laughs> like you know, I just don't want you Netflix to think that we're, gonna, yeah. we're gonna, so I'm like, I'm like, wait, 
that, but it was cool as fuck. It's like having a sleepover with your friend. Right. But, the but one, grown one up thing, style. But he didn't try anything on me, unless that I'm aware of, because <laughs> I sleep really hard. Well, if he said Netflix and chill, that doesn't mean Netflix and chill. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so I. Uh, d- Are you still watching? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not watching. But anyways, no, we're cool. And like we've been, we've been friends for a while. He's such a cool dude. I feel like it's n- kind of not new in the sense of like new to the the world and to people, but I feel like the acceptance and the talkability is definitely new. When you it comes you have to hit it right on the head. We've yeah. written about this on CyberSocket um, and even on Fleshbot. You know, we see Hollywood. We see a lot of um, A-listers are coming out as trans or coming out as non-binary, and it's a term mm-hmm. that's feeding over into the porn world. Yeah. And there's a sense of inclusivity. And so trans porn is actually on the rise because right. people are now it's admitting. Exploding. It is. Yeah. It really the trans is. Trans performers are like skyrocketing through the industry. Yeah. And I, I love performing with them. Yeah. I I wish to. I still haven't. I don't know what's happening. Cause Who's I not keep booking saying, you? Who's not booking I you? I want to with trans. I've been wanting to work with trans. Uh-huh. And I've been telling everybody that. And for some reason, I just still haven't gotten it. To be honest with me, like I came in the industry about 11 years ago. Yeah. And I was, it was, so, it's so weird. And now that I think about it, because I evolved as a performer and as somebody that lives here. And because I'm from a small town of like 300 people oh, in Canada. Shit. Yeah. Like in Canada, I used to fucking have to go get milk from the cows in the morning to get my cereal and put it in the freezer. <laughs> while no, I is that my, true? Yeah. Bro, I would I'm, die in a I'm week. from nothing. <laughs> That's crazy. So I fucking worked my way all the way through Hollywood. And then I... I said I must have got lucky, but at the end of the day, like, it, it's really hard to, like, know all the t- the words and the terms and the everything. And I try to learn every day. Yeah. Well, I mean that's it's important. Look at the Dave Ch- look at Dave Chappelle. This motherfucker just I haven't seen it yet. Oh yeah, but here's the thing about Dave Chappelle. Oh my he God. Is, he's educated. You know the fact that you're trying to learn and understand. Yeah. That's half of it. Huge. There's no dumb questions, and if you don't yeah. ask dumb questions and nobody's ever going to learn. David Chappelle knows exactly what he's doing because he's in the community. So for him to continue to make mistakes like that, that's malicious. But if you don't know and you want to find out... it was intentional? Of course it's intentional. Netflix even knew what they were doing and look what happened. Everybody had to watch it whether you wanted to or not. If it wasn't intentional, do you think we would be talking about it right now? When somebody makes a mistake, just like we all make a mistake, whether we understand what we were doing or not, we will say, I'm sorry and we'll try to make amends. You don't Mm -hmm. be like... Oh yeah, well this is what I'm I'm doing now, and I'm gonna do it even more. But he believes, and Joe Rogan and many podcast people believe, which you and I I, I don't side with either. I, I don't I'm neutral. But if he wouldn't, if he would apologize to to what he said and what he did and what he felt from the heart, and you heard the Daphne story. I don't did, have you heard. The I, Daphne don't story? I don't oh know it. I don't. Oh my god, it's it so yet. much. I don't want to spoil it. Yeah, but I need to He finishes educated. that special with. Holy fuck, this guy is actually a genius at storytelling. He's the GOAT. And not only that, he, he has not been like homophobic or, or doesn't like trans women. He's just been clueless because of everybody I- around him and stuff like not really talking You're about a it. You're distinction between him and David LaChapelle? Yeah, David like Chappelle. David Lusher. Yeah, I know David Chappelle. Chappelle. You're about to get sued. That's You're another about to walkout. Get sued. <laughs> no, it, it I was. Just I just. I don't know. I just think it was a. It, it's um, you have to stand your ground because what if five years from now, podcast has become this whole thing where, if you say one word wrong, you could be canceled, and then you you go and you work really hard. To not say these things, but then they go four years back, like they did with Kevin right. Hart and the Graham, and, and the Oscars, and then fucking saying, "Oh no, you can't host because you said something about right. back in the days." So that's why I said there should be a limit. But the- you're but you're missing a section of the Kevin Hart thing because I totally agree. I say stuff every day that I'm like, I mean, <laughs> like, oh shit, <laughs> right? And we make mistakes in what we say. And comedy evolves, and comedy changes. The comedians from the '70s were making 
horrific we would horrific joke. Joke. Terrible. But here's the thing. When Kevin Hart was countered about what he said before, he did not apologize for it. He gave some mm-hmm. half-assed whatever, and then he still made another comment on top of that. And so that's... So made it worse. Yeah, and it's like, you don't believe what you want to believe, but when you have such a big platform, you have a responsibility um, to put goodwill out there. And if somebody says, hey, this behavior hurt this whole group of people, you have to be clueless to continue that behavior and not give a justified apology. And you don't have to say, sorry, you know, that I think that way. You just have to say, sorry that this happened and don't put it, take it out of your act or, or whatever. I don't think anything out there, especially in this current day and time, should be malicious towards any group of people. Yeah. Anyway, not, sorry. Yeah, no, <laughs> we, not now. Not it's now. your show. I'm so sorry. I know. We got off. I <laughs> yeah. haven't seen this. Sh- I don't know what we've been talking about. I haven't seen it yet. I know that there's controversy, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. So, so yeah. I need to be better. I need to ed- better no, educate okay. myself. But this is so good busy. that we're having this kind of conversation. No, it is. And we should be able to voice it our opinions without I, being shut up. I think that once, once celebrities get a lot of money and a lot of attention and a lot of fucking fame and a lot of narcissistic behaviors mm. that they will kind of say an apology but it's a half ass exactly. half ass I don't want to confess that I almost like when you plead no contest in court right, right. it's like bitch we all it's know it's like yeah. we, we know but because it's not official on paper then it doesn't work like right. it's not real like at, at the end of the day like we we're we're sex workers yeah you can be uh uh, how do you call? Uh, what's the proper name now? It is sex worker. Street, street work, yeah. stru- sex worker. I don't think it's street worker. <laughs> <laughs> performer. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, no, they're, they're called yeah. sex workers. Yeah, sex workers. Oh, it's, it's yeah, because it's it's, it's 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 all of that is work. Because there's no difference from a girl choosing to have six thousand dollar to go downtown New York and fucking tickle this guy mm-hmm. and make him come in two minutes with a mm-hmm. condom. And get ten grand, then me with my fucking nine inch dick <laughs> plowing her for 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 two three like for a whole day. Why would she for get way a less thousand? Pay. Yeah. You know why would she get one thousand yeah. dollar and no royalties? That's yeah. the one thing That's we need to talk about. We royalties. do not have ro- every time I go to dinner with my music friend. They're like, oh, bro, I just got a 72,000 check. But that's the difference. That's what the fans pages are doing is we have the copyrights now. And so I make the power money on in. videos over and over and over yeah. again. I'm not just the payday of the performance. I don't actually get paid for the performance. I make the content. I own the content. That's perpetual. I produce it. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So that's, that, that is addressing what you're talking about, Jesse. Yeah. But you know they're trying to shut this down. Well, They've been trying – to it's not shut gonna happen. The fans. I, I hope mean? so. It's I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. To be honest, I want to still make fucking. Right. I, I I love like I just went to my OnlyFans this morning and I didn't take money out since I believe March. Oh damn! You keep it all in there? Yeah. Oh, no, I, that I, don't, scare I, would, me. I wouldn't do that. That would scare <laughs> me so much. And then I looked at the amount and I'm like, bro, I'm about to get red <laughs> fucking flag. Yeah, because you can't deposit Jesse, it like take that. Take that money out. Take I that should money out. every month. You just keep money that you don't even care about. Like, yeah, just, dude, yeah. I I get a deposit every, every week. week. Every, every week. week. All your yeah. friends are gonna come to you for a loan now, Jesse. I, I forget yeah. about. Yeah. It. No, there's I've, no way I would leave money in like no an OnlyFans account. I forget about it, especially with the shit with what they did a couple weeks ago, a month ago, two months ago. Dude, I've been frozen by three different financial um, institutions. I would get your money out. But at the, <laughs> I don't, I, I don't, at the bottom of your check, does it say Sylvia Che, uh, Sylvia Sage, eight men gangbang? <laughs> like, no. Did the no. director write that? Because no, I don't know. No. If, I, if I'm it's a fucking just a teller. Data production. <laughs> if, I, if I'm a, Is that if, what it says on your check? No. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it, will, it, it will say Glory Hole Entertainment. No. Yes, like Jim Camp. Oh, Jim. It would oh, say okay, it would say okay, Glory okay. Hole something, and I went to the counter, and the dude, like, look at me, and he's like, look at the check. You look at me, you look at the check, and then later on on my fucking Facebook, oh, no. I get a little message from Bank Teller. Hey, what's <gasps> up? What's up? All right. Oh my god! <laughs> you, can, you can make deposits with your phone now too. You can just take okay. a picture of the check and deposit it. I do. It. I do. Okay. I speaking do. of that, that kind of has something to do with the uh, with the title of our show. And I've had that happen to me at a bank also, where a bank uh, guy has hit me up after I've left the bank, and I'm like, this is not. It's this so doesn't unprofessional. Seem right. Yeah, it doesn't seem right at all. Okay, so we are talking about dating and working in the porn industry and how that works or does not. Um, but before we get to that. We do have, uh, so this is a sex education podcast, so there is a word of the day, and we want to know if you know what this word means. 
Oh, wow. All right. This is Sylvia Sage's sexy, funny, raw word of the day. Do you know what it is? <laughs> I love it so much. Bye, okay. Disney. <laughs> you know I'm French, right? Wait, we have to guess the word of the day? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or, or is it? Are you well, tell guess, us? and then I'm going to tell you yeah, also. Okay. So, and now I am not the best at pronouncing these words because I don't necessarily, I only find words I also didn't know the meaning to because I like to try and stump you. Okay, so Anna Frodo. Disiac? Okay, so you can Anaphrodisiac. Try. No, it's not. Is that yeah. he, is that yeah, he said it well. To be honest, he said it well. You took like three or four. He, d- he said it in one word. Anaphrodisiac is yes. the word. Yes. Now, do you know it? what anaphrodisiac means? I would believe it's somebody that is uh, obsessed with getting fucked in the ass. Wow, okay. Well, that's a gay man. Yeah. <laughs> I would say something and that's got to do, something <laughs> that's, that's right. without um, eroticism. Okay, uh, good guess, mm-hmm. good guess. Uh, the correct answer, however, is a substance that reduces one's sexual appetite, the opposite of aphrodisiac. So, oh. like, like a substance? Like what? Like, is there like a deep I would boner? imagine it would be like alcohol, <laughs> you know? Like, Not for me. Remember, even at your house, so I had a lot of alcohol. Yeah. Like, that kills that your I'm straight. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. You had so much to drink. You went in. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, t- another time, another place. We are talking about dating on this show, though, just so I'm saying. Okay, so uh, uh, moving on. No, but no, but like what substance? Okay. You, you said alcohol. I think alcohol. I think it, it, it could be probably any substance that does that, that kills your sex drive. That has it for yeah. you, necessarily. I just, I just said anal because it was. I thought ana was for, <laughs> yeah, short no, for anal. Not, <laughs> it's, it's part of the same uh, root I, word. I, I was going for it. It's like if you're a tree for bediac. If I would think you fuck tree threes. <laughs> no, no, I know there's another word for that, but I'm just saying. Necro like, is it? Yeah, necrophilia. Uh, that's for Halloween. Yeah, oh. okay, yeah. Let's wait for that. Let's wait. Okay. <laughs> wait, <laughs> Jesse. I don't even know the answer to this question. Ha- are you dating? Uh, actually, I have a girlfriend. Yeah. Currently. You yeah. currently have a girlfriend. Yeah. Is she also industry? Well, I, ha- I had a girlfriend for a long, long, long time. And it was public. Time. It was very public. Well, there was many. That well, was I didn't very, want to say that. There was, there, was, <laughs> I loved it for years. there was many that was very public. But I like to say that I have a girlfriend right now. And okay. It's, and it's my work. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You know? okay. Okay. So okay. That's where you're going I, with so this. I just, okay. Yeah, because to be honest, from experience. Not worked out so well. Do not fuck where, do not shit where you eat. It's hard. Okay, but here's the thing, Jesse. So, like, I did research on you, and every time you were dating somebody in the industry, yeah. it was in all the blogs, it was posted, whatever. Crazy. You and her, and so that puts the pressure. But we know from you, you it started has with it. Do you think it's yeah. helped your, your relationship? Yeah, it actually has. Wow. Yeah. yeah um, we, st- we started together, we continued together, it strengthened our relationship. We're known as a couple. That it's, is true. It's been a it, it can be really dangerous too. Yeah. Because you can, if you're putting yourself out there as a couple, if the couple breaks up, you've kind of destroyed your yes. your, your product. Jesse. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. You don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want to be blacklisted well, from people that fucking make you live for the last six years. Right. And now they don't even return your phone call. or And then you're like, okay, well. She said that, but I have video that proves otherwise. Right. So why don't I put that out there? And then you realize that if you do, then she gets accused of falsely. And then now you're both losing money. Right. Do you want to do that? Or you want to actually be like, okay, we just fucked up. We had a fight. Uh, we argued and I told her to like, so I don't get into it, but basically it hurt me a lot. Like I went from making like 400,000, 600,000 mm-hmm. just from scenes to making like a hundred thousand, and I mean, wow. I, I bought That's all. A big yeah. Drop. Well, it, it's a big. big well, yeah, and then I was like, so you Yo. were dating other performers? Is no, I was engaged for four years with Beyonce. one girl. We 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 had like the dream life. It's just she basically just wanted to get out of porn, basically do nothing, and I work double. And I pay for all of the Gucci and the Yves Saint Laurent, <laughs> and the, and then basically she wants to have a kid while living with her parents because she can be two minutes away from her parents. Oh my God, I'm so glad. And I was yeah. like, There's a lot of issues. Yeah. Yeah. We, we it was so, so much. Like, it was so yeah. much. I just said, fuck it. And one day, so basically, like, at the end of our relationship, I started to date another girl 
which starts with Gianna and then finish with anyway. So anyway, <laughs> so basically we, we, we started to hang out and I was like, yo, this girl is top. I love her. Yeah. I love the way she's like psycho. I love the way, like I love all that. It's always hot in the, the bedroom. The things so, you love or the things you hate uh, in the end. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, true. So I, I kind of liked it, but I basically, <laughs> one day I went home and, she was there and I just said, hey, can I grab my bag and leave? Because I was about to go to her place. And basically she didn't let me do it. And when I laughed in her face and I left, it was too much because she I wasted her time. And I agree. Right. I agree. As a woman who's 30 years old and I take four years of her life when she can have a baby... I deserve any everything that came to me. Yeah, I it's deserve. her choice too. She didn't want out. Yeah. Yeah, but I, 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 I'm like, yeah. Also, I don't want a baby, so I have no idea what that desire is. But yeah. um, <laughs> yeah, so, same. Girl. I don't know, but I don't feel like it's anybody's <laughs> fault. To I don't ever feel like a relationship is a waste of time. I feel like you're always learning something from any relationship you're you in. You are, so. and it made me. It made me the yeah. person she was today. There by choice too. Right. But, exactly. Know, yeah. I decided to stay yeah. there. I decided to do all of that. Right. So, it, it is my fault. And I took the loss because fortunately I saved a lot of money throughout right. my years. Okay. And I was just like, okay, let's take a year off. And I just started to like PlayStation. But and, do you and, feel like your breakup, do you feel like companies and other performers oh, kind of took a stand against oh you also? Oh my God, it was 50-50. Yeah. So people I've, I have You feel like people are I picking sides. Yeah, picking sides. Yeah. I like I like this story better. I like this right. story better. I'm like, well, okay, cool. You should know the truth. Right. You know what I mean? There's always three sides. Of to course the truth. there are. Yeah. So basically, I just, it, I, think, I think life, it just made it a filter. Yeah. It filtered the shit out of my life. Yeah. But Interesting naturally, way to look at naturally, it. Yeah. naturally. Yeah. Because the real ones stuck by me because they understood. They saw the video. They saw the text. They saw the, 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 the film. They saw everything. So basically, at the end, it was just like, okay, these other people were really not my friends from the yeah. beginning. And that hurts the most when you do their birthday party their thanksgiving yeah you do all of their christmas party you buy some their people also don't know how to respond to that kind of chaos and drama and i think sometimes people back off because yeah. they just don't know it's so how uncomfortable to, yeah and yeah I, maybe they actually are your friends jesse but they just don't know how to handle it like yeah it. So that's well, a very um, good point actually it is, it is and i'm I, a back awayer so I, yeah, back yeah. Away. see yeah. i've learned that there there's one thing in this business and it's, it's narcissist and people, narcissistic people. And well, people, that's just pe Hollywood in general. Yeah. You have to have an ego, though, I think, have to be healthy. Yeah. 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 I feel like people think it would be easier to walk away from you and press block yeah. than to admit they were wrong. It is so yeah. easy. Of course it is. Of course it's easy. It's yeah. way easier. I'm super good at, uh, with the block button or the mute button or the, uh, what's the button where you just, they don't know you can't see their shit anymore. What's that one called? Like yeah, but mute. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that one the best. I would, like I would I'm say not you do that. You, you do but. that before unfollowing me <laughs> yeah. because if I if we followed each other, I'm a, I, I'm a director. I work for many. I work for Evil Angel. Mm -hmm. I work for for many p people, and I would say, if you don't like my fucking tweets, if I get political or if I tweet pictures of me fucking girls and you're at the airport and you just keep getting <laughs> weird looks like I do all the time. I forget. I forget I'm in porn. I swear to God. I was at I was I was at Target. I was at Target. I was at Target at uh, four days ago and I was shopping and I, I was just like in line. I, I always go to this Target because I saw Joe Rogan there and he was with his family. <laughs> he doesn't live here anymore. No, I know, but that was like that was like that was like a year ago or, or a year and a half ago. And I met him there. I was like, bro, he shops here. I want to fucking <laughs> shop here. That's hilarious. And, and, then, and, then, and then so some dude came up to me and he tapped me on the shoulder and he said, Jesse. And the, the fucked up thing is, is my real name is Jesse. Oh, uh, shit. So yeah. I was like, yo, how the fuck do you know me? He's like, just your dick. No, he didn't say not. He was not. He, he's not like 95% of the others. Yeah. This dude just looked at me. And he nodded his head like a cowboy. <laughs> and he fucking just walked away. It was so badass. <laughs> like, he said, Jesse, I like your shit. 
That's another reason to shop at that Target. <laughs> <And> then, yeah. <laughs> I wonder who those cowboys that are going to find so you in the great. aisle. Uh, uh, Wait, so did you get a little hit, like, in your ego? For, like, yeah, this, of course. When you're talking about narcissism? <laughs> no, yeah. no, no. The, what I felt most fucked up about is I forgot what I do for a living. Because I've been fucking for so long. Right. That... For me, when you come up to me, I always, I've been this Canadian from a small town. I, I never pictured it. I never seen it. And so now when you come up, like even you, right. you would come up to me in a, at the mall or something and like put your hand behind my eye. I, I would literally pull a gun. Like I would think I'm getting shot <laughs> or I'm getting fucking murdered or raped or something because it, LA made you become, look even at the mask. Right. You see someone with a mask now, you're like, ooh. You're like, oh, wait, get away from me. Like, it's it it just made us become like that. And so, or you're at a grocery store. And, and being a porn star, <laughs> do you know how many <laughs> messages I got from fathers from their little 18 precious year old oh, girl oh. left for Los Angeles because they told they were doing like some type of uh, a modeling but we all know what modeling means well, right. in Los Angeles. You'd yeah. be, be taking all, all kinds of dicks. <laughs> so basically, she, she he sees me, her first scene ever, that all the boys at his work showed him, of course, because they're men. And then after that fucking drive, take all the pen, all the pennies, the, everything they have, and come to Los Angeles to confront me. And they'll, they'll be at a bar... And I'll be sitting down like this, and I'll be like, I have my own drink, and I'll, I'll hear, you know, like old Cowboys movies? Yeah. You see, like, a shot go mm-hmm. across the fucking mm-hmm. thing. I'll get a shot there. I'll be like, oh, what the fuck? I, sorry, I didn't order that. Plus, I didn't see nobody pour this, <laughs> so I don't want to get raped. Yep. So, anyways, he comes, and he sits next to me. He's like, and he shows me a picture of his young daughter, like when he was fourteen. That happened for real. I'm not. That's so wow. crazy. So showed me in such a different sh- world than I do. Showed me the picture <laughs> of a, a little fourteen year old girl, and then I'm like, "Where the fuck is Chris Anson? I, yeah. I, like, I, am I getting punk? Am I? What's happening? So I, I have a lot of friends. It was really her dad. Yes. That's he insane. drove from Michigan, from Detroit. Because he had seen you in a scene with yes. her? And he probably yes. blamed you for her downfall yes. and all that? Blame me. Like, I'm a, f- I'm a fucking actor. I'm a fantasy. I don't work for... Let's I don't go after I don't the studio if they're so upset. So right, but yeah, not 18. the other actor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the studio's the invisible. Daughter. Well, you're that's not. true. That's, that's true. true. You, yeah. They can Google your name yes. and somehow right. find you because then they can Google, like, that's what's his real name? And then, you know, people can go as psycho as they want. Like, I've had... Some stuff show up at my door, and I'm like, and it's addressed to Sylvia Sage. I'm like, how would anyone that's have creepy. this address? You know, that's, that's like, creepy. yeah. Well, oh, sure. I've had men show up at my door. Like, what do you do, Sylvia? Uh, that's turn creepy. them a fuck. To go away. But go like, away. Do, I will do, call do you the call police. The cops? I, I mean, I threatened to call the cops. You should but. close. You should close one eye before you answer. <laughs> <laughs> so that no, they, they no, know it's, it's not, not really you because yeah. of the two colors. It's not me. It's not me. It's not me at all. Ryan, let me ask yeah. you though, yeah. when, when you and your partner are out and about, because you know you frequent Palm Springs and Los yep. Angeles, it's a different energy than this. Totally different. But do people just assume that they're going to be able to go home with you, or they can just yes. touch you, yes. or, yes. or look at yes. your crotch? Yeah, that. Or yeah. I guess I have that in common with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> people just assume that they have permission to touch me or grab me. Yeah. Um, I, I don't really mind if somebody touches me affectionately or nicely mm-hmm. they put their hand on my shoulder on my back my ass I, I don't really mind that but if somebody grabs Your my ass? yeah but if somebody grabs okay. my dick or tries yeah. to stick their finger in my ass I, I, oh. that pisses me off well for yeah. sure that and should that happens, piss you off and that yeah. happens a lot yeah, I get yeah. the thinking they can sleep with you thing. The amount of times yeah. in my DMs or my emails or even meeting someone in person, they're like, so how do I sleep with you? And I'm like, what? That's not, I mean, it's like they just assume like, do how, we, do wait, I, wait, how, how do I, how do we make this happen? They want to the actually price? sleep till the morning and they just want to fuck No, 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 they just want to fuck me. They just walk up and they're like, what's, what's the what's the price? How do we do this? And I'm like, who says that I don't have like a like a standard? Like you just think that because yeah, you're I don't, a I human. I don't have a standard. That's yeah. the thing. I actually might fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, and you, I like, might, I might, like, but I want to have the judgment, you know? Yeah. Like I want to be like, okay, random email from someone and, you know, 
Argentina or wherever the fuck, and they're yeah, like, they're hung, so. "How how me fuck you?" And I'm like, "We don't, we don't fuck. You and I don't fuck. Like that's." Never I also think happen. though that because people know that I'm married to another performer, people people know I'm in a relationship. That might give me a little bit of cover, though. Yeah, but then they want to fuck the both of you. Yes. They think they can go well, home because with they the see both it every week on your OnlyFans. Yeah. yeah, and we have seen every type of person in your bedroom. Yes, and oh. you've seen my bedroom, and you wouldn't believe what people zoom you in on. You see every type of person. Women. If we get. At, no. Uh, trans men. Okay, that's fair. I'm fine with that. But like, I've seen old, young, but fat, wait, thin. Is that, okay. wo- okay. is that a woman? A t- yes. Well, biologically, genetically, yeah. But I, they wouldn't identify as a woman, and I wouldn't identify. Oh, as they a woman. wouldn't. But oh, okay. If you're talking about like plumbing, you know, then I don't I know ha- what plumbing I ha- is. Wait, wait, I don't know. Yeah, yeah like someone I don't know what that is a, either. Someone has a vagina. <laughs> you know, their plumbing is. Yeah, but they could be a, a trans man. So in in. They're a man, but they might still have. They haven't, the they haven't, had, like, they haven't had bottom. Oh, like bu- like Buck Angel. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, he was exactly. the first. He was the yeah. first. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And he okay. really was a pioneer. But yeah. Got it. Interesting. Yeah, and there I, are other there are trans performers, trans men that I have. I didn't know the with. term plumber plumbing either. I'd never uh, heard that before. The only thing I know about plumbers are <laughs> Mario, Mario and Luigi. Oh. <laughs> Chris Pratt, <laughs> the new Mario, by the way. Uh, oh, I thought you were just gonna say like they show up to the door and then they have to fuck whoever. That you, you also played one. It's yeah, like, I was gonna say. Can I plunge your pipes? I'm yeah. pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I pl- I, I've done over 2,500 scenes. 2,500. Wow. Yeah, so I would think I played a plumber That's once. Pretty, yeah, you have to. I, I, I think I. I watched it yesterday. Yeah. I, <laughs> I watched it I yesterday. I thought he was coming on the show and I did research. I'm like, holy crap. He likes to do how, his how research any, oh, for yes. the show. Hour after, I'm like, how does, how does any woman walk after they film <laughs> with Jesse? <laughs> they don't comfortably for a little while at least. It's just yeah. for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Take an Epsom salt. Epsom salt back. You're good. So, Jesse, what initially brought you to the States to do porn? So, Because um, you came here for porn, yes? Uh, no, actually, I w- I came oh, I here because I no. So when I turn uh, when I graduated high school at seventeen, yeah, I moved to Maui, Hawaii, because my uh. mother my mother lived there. So basically, I went to uh, college and then I started uh, UH University of Hawaii. Okay. So I live in Maui for five years, uh, four years, and one year in uh, on uh, in Oahu. What a nightmare! Uh, uh, yeah, no, Sounds it's terrible. Awful. And yeah. then and then basically. <laughs> I was like, yo, my, my GPA is like 3.75. Which is great. These guys, they're still doing 11, 12 grade math. Right. So I'm not going to advance or excel here. Right. So I transferred to UCLA. So oh, nice. Because I was international back then. I was Canadian still. Yeah. My mom applied. That is she, international. She, was, she got me while she was pregnant in the United States. But... She never did the paperwork because Canada oh, Canada hospitals cheaper, so and it's she, free. It's free healthcare. It's free healthcare. So yeah. she went to Canada. She crossed the bridge, went to Canada, got me. So I'm so technically born can, I'm born in Canada, yeah. but I'm allowed to have dual citizenship. Nice. So that's awesome. So yeah, I just said, yo, you know what? Uh, I, I I went to UCLA. I studied business and film. Perfect. And yeah, it was it was great. It's exactly what you need if you're going to actually excel in this industry. Yeah. yeah, and then that's why like sometimes I see directors and I'm like, "Bro, your your ISO is not right. <laughs> this is not and I I'm the dick. I'm the right. fucking I'm the cocky dick. They're well, like, "Just put your penis in somebody well, already." Like, yeah, no, Shut and, up. And, and, and then they call you a penis. <laughs> one no, one day a director basically told me like, "Yo, Stunt dick. You are Today you're just a dick. Yeah. Okay. So put that in your mind, because he's fucking the girl that I'm about. That's how they that, treat our male that, performers. That I'm 110%. about to fuck. So he basically wants me to fail and laugh at me and say yeah. to the girl, "I told you so." So he's gonna be like, "Like yo, you know." And to be honest wow. with you, like it's almost like a bullet in the foot. Before you even start your scene, right? If somebody's but being the, negative, I, that, yeah. That like the director was sabotaging the. the that project. will happen on more occasions than you think, especially in the straight world. They, the male directors, do really get kind of like an envious, jealousy thing of the performers, and they do kind of want you to fail because they want you to never come back again. 
I've worked like with straight directors and straight crews on for studio movies, yeah. and they've been incredible to work with. I've n- really never had anybody try to sabotage a scene that I was doing. Wow. Well, 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 we talked good. to yeah. uh, Eddie Danger, who films straight and gay porn mm. all the time. He's very prolific in both. Yeah. And what he was saying, and from your own personal experience, is that guys are just, because they're just like replaceable. Yeah. For every straight performer, there's 100 different. You know, mm. our gay porn stars get they get flown places they do appearances mm-hmm. they yeah. get hotels they get paid a lot more you guys are treated scenes. like us the, female yeah, like performers. women in the straight world yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. we're definitely the so more maybe like J- jesse are you the anomaly then for the straight world like for a male to be have such a personality and a presence and there's successful. very few i think there's like 10 of us yeah i would say about the same yeah. that have a so like like because you know i have a I also do mainstream, like I said, like when I went to school, um, they I had a crew, like a big like HBO crew filming me for like seven days straight at all the award shows, and I have mm-hmm. stuff on Netflix in Canada, and mm-hmm. it's in French, obviously, because I'm French, but basically, it's it, it it's it got me to a point where I became number one porn star in Canada. So like now I just have my dildo made of my dick like the real deal and it's already like a thousand units sold in Canada. For I pre-booked s- for, mine for seventy nine <laughs> for seventy nine dollars. So I I'm so overwhelmed because I don't think about it. I don't really. I know it's like once we do a project we move on. It's we, like I yeah. I'm not aware of when something's released or like when oh never comes out. It's it like could I, be like ages ago. And even my yeah. own content like when we release it I'm not really like people ask me if I watch our stuff and I I don't because I I was yeah. there I was I know what happened. Yeah. You know and I did in the beginning because mm-hmm. I wanted to kind of see what worked and what didn't work. Yeah. And I was also editing our own content in the beginning too because I wanted to see how you know, like okay that body position doesn't work don't do that on camera yeah. that looks real, really good on camera and once I started to learn you mm-hmm. know what to do I stopped watching yeah do you do you hate your voice when you listen when you edit your video <laughs> are you saying you hate my voice no, <laughs> no. I, I hate my voice when I'm editing yes. when I'm editing yeah. my shit I'm like bro just shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yeah, but for the audience, like we like they to like hear it. voices. No, and I like, know, and girls yeah. will like speak fr- speak French yeah. in my ear. I'm gonna come. See, so that's hot. Yeah, and I'm like, but like girl who goes like, eh, uh, I hate that. Hate that. that. Hate but that. Hate that. Or a guy who says like bussy over oh. and over again is not hot. Bro, if someone's there. faking it, like that, yeah. that whole like trying to be hot and sexy and yeah. trying to be masculine or trying to be feminine, I I get turned off. I don't like. Yeah, that. same. But I, the shit that I say in French. Oh my God! Like, what are you saying? Say oh. it. Say it. <laughs> Say it. Grocery store list. So yeah. like, so Milk like, bread. basically, I'll be in her ear and I'll be like, "I know I found you in the streets, but can you suck my dick for bus fare?" Is that, that a shit. Canadian? No, like, no, no, it's not. It's not. It's just me totally fucking. That's what's happening. The, Let's go to Canada. That's I want to hear. And then be like, <laughs> I want to hear the French version yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Say, so, say it in French. Okay, so, uh, chic, tu viens dans la rue, mais. Tu me sucerais la bite pour aller sur l'autobus? <laughs> Je, and yeah, she's yeah. all like, I oh my God, I'm about, <laughs> I'm, I'm about to come. I'm about to come. I'm like, yeah. bitch, I just call you a $5 whore. <laughs> but it's so funny because my friends... I would have come faster friend, if you would have said. <laughs> 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 okay, when we're done. If you call me a $5 whore, I'll come faster. Yes! <laughs> Make it two fifty. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. No, but my friends from Canada do get see i like to leave cipher like i clues yeah and like you know one time for vic for brazzers yeah i changed my watch five times oh during my the god scene. so i started with a blue watch when and then we cut and i got a white watch and then i got a gold watch and i got <laughs> their a editor watch. hates you yes oh yeah yeah, yeah. did that, they notice it did they say no, something he laughed his ass because <laughs> i know everybody in montreal I'm right. French. so he hit me up he's like please jesse i laugh my fucking ass off but don't <laughs> never ever, do it ever again. do that again because <laughs> everything in the comments was not about people the sex just, well, just, oh people yeah. there's a continuity people yes. will know <laughs> They'll say, what's your mop doing in the corner? Yes, it's you so yeah. crazy. Yeah, 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 totally true. It was funny. And yeah. we're filming in our house a lot, so we get people to comment on the, sh- the shit in our house. People would zoom in on books that Digger was reading and like, oh, you're reading the new James Patterson novel. And yeah, like, people find the weirdest yeah. shit in the background only because they want some conversation that isn't 
the normal, oh, you're beautiful, you're pretty. They just want to say something that's different and maybe you'll respond back to them. That's you know? a really good point. Like, they want to feel that intimacy with you yeah. and like they're your pal. connection. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I just want to say before we do roll out of here, so you've told us what it's like to date a performer uh, and, and, and badly. You've told us what, it start, what it's like to start out in a relationship mm-hmm. and for it to go wonderfully. And I'll tell you as a single person uh, who... Uh, has attempted and uh, tried to date while being single. It is, it's so tough because the outside world, you guys have dated people inside the world. The people on the outside of the porn world have really no true idea of what mm-hmm. world we live in. And they just truly, it's hard for them to compute or and or understand what it's like being dating a performer when we're having sex with everyone and yet, want you to have <laughs> somewhat of your normal life and I still have like heard us. I that from other gay yeah. performers that are dating and having a relationship with somebody outside it's of the so industry tough. that it's really hard for them. Yeah. Because the other person just doesn't understand. They have to either uh, not, I will say I, any time I've dated, they either have to not give a fuck about it at all, it can't be their thing, or they kind of have to be turned on by it. Mm. So but, those but not are, a fan, though, right? Not a fan. Kind of turned on. Image. Yes, exactly, and that's totally different. But I think just kind of be turned on by the fact that you're a sexual fantasy to so many other people, mm-hmm. but to never view it. I think I also have friends of mine who will tell me they can't watch my porn. Even male friends are like, oh. I can't watch it because it's like weird. I know you, and I'm like, that's fine. I can't watch my friends do porn. One of your ads popped up, and it was yeah. you, and it was yeah. like, it was it was very interesting. So I was like, I, I don't can't know watch what to do. <laughs> yeah. Pretty, I, like studio porn, like what you were saying, Jesse, in the beginning. Like once you know how it's made, and like yes. you see, like, it, it completely ruined. Funny. Like I, it the does. fantasy's gone. You don't like, want to watch porn I, after that. You yes. know, like, you just know everybody. Yes, it's weird. I can't like, watch my friends in porn either. Are, are, yeah. are you guys it watching porn as a couple, or how much sex are you having as a couple, and how? We have a lot of sex together. Uh, yeah. Off camera. Off camera, yeah. How do yeah. you make it different than when it's on camera? Well, you you see, yeah, well because we, we started off doing fans, we started off filming our sex. So it was like reality TV. What, the scenes that we were doing mm-hmm. were really how we have sex. So Which I way, love. So the way that we, thank you, the yeah. way that we have, what you see on camera is how the two of us interact. I it's, love it's, that. it's all authentic. But now it's that it's been off on camera, how do you make it different now, off camera? We or don't need to, because it, it's it just, just as hot. Matter. Yeah, no. But matter. most of your scenes, so your scenes are you guys fucking together and fucking other people together. Mm-hmm. So it's never you guys going off separately, as opposed no, to no, like... No, never. Sometimes we, we do separate scenes. Oh, you do? Yeah, we do scenes separately. We do okay. scenes, uh, we do three ways, four ways. Um, sometimes it's just the two of us. Okay. That's really not common it's really it's mostly us in three ways and four ways but together. it's not like with jesse if you're going to work and your girl's going to work and you're having this three-way and she's having this gangbang and then you go home do you fuck that's a lot of bacteria <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean but that's a reality <laughs> yeah but do you fuck at the end of it no so your sex life with that first person of all my girlfriend is not in the industry well no i'm saying before when you were dating an industry yeah yeah. Uh, it, she was a dirty little. She liked me to fuck a couple girls and go home, not and wash my dick, not wash, and, and suck my dick. And I think fuck that's it. I think that's hot. I think, oh. that's, I, I, I think that's really. I'm like hot. all no. about it. Oh, my OCD shoot. says no. Nope. Yeah, my mm-hmm. fucking mouth and my health system says <laughs> no, and my immune system, everything, <laughs> but the thought, the thought of it is extremely hot yeah because then you're getting leftovers you're getting fucking like you you know like but i'm really turned on by my husband's adventures like i i want to read his text messages and his threat and the not because i'm checking up on him but because i'm i'm turned on by the the way that it unfolded and the way that he connected with somebody i'm turned on i can see that i can see that it's so hot like when my ex was dating like if he was in the gym and he did something in the showers or afterwards i'm like i would hear every detail it was such a turn off but you never feel that turn into jealousy no no i don't i don't experience jealousy with my husband we are we are very safe together i feel completely secure in the relationship and i think a lot of people know you as a couple i think it would be weird we never we started our, on our third date i said to him i i need to talk to you and he was like shit i'm being handed my walking papers that was <laughs> quick and i actually what i said to him was no no i'm not breaking up with you i said i actually really like you but i want an open relationship huh. and 
I know that for me, being monogamous doesn't work. Right. And I, I like you, and if that's not what you want, because I've seen a lot of people, they, once they connect and bond, they want different things. Right. And then you're fucked, because if, if you want an open relationship and your husband or partner wants a monogamy, you know, th- where do you go with that? There's right. really nowhere to go with that. And I didn't want that to happen to me because I've been there. Mm-hmm. And so I said to him, I want an open relationship. And if that's what you want, then we've got something. Yeah. And he said he, he said it was the first time he actually was really honest with himself about what he wanted sexually and hmm. in the relationship. And he said, so I want important. that. Like actual communication yeah. in a relationship? Yeah, so we've been open. Oh, my God. Oh yeah. my God. So right from Who the beginning, we've known. been open and honest with each other. So it, it we played together, and it developed um, a safety and honesty because we yeah. were talking about so and really having a stronger bond. I've yeah. never been in a relationship where I wasn't s- a super jealous. I don't know how. I really don't. I don't know how to not be a jealous human. I'm just like. But maybe that's a difference of like well, a straight it, woman and, and yeah. like a But at the man. core of jealousy is fear. Yeah. Oh, you know? true. True, you know, true, you're, true. You're afraid you're going to probably yeah. lose the But person. I also haven't been in a relationship in 14 years, so. You know, that. <laughs> I was in my 20s. I might not be a jealous human anymore. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. It's a long time. It's a super long, a long time. time. But you think about it. Like, I didn't really, I never really thought about being single for so long. And then one day I just started talking about it. And I was like, oh, I haven't dated in, you do the math. And I think the first time I thought about it, it was 12 years. And I was like, oh, damn, I really haven't dated anybody in 12 years. And then all of a sudden it's just like keeps creeping. And I'm like, more and more so years. you're busy. Like, you're, yes. you're gone yeah. all the time. You're always filming. Or you're yeah. working on yourself. Like, with right, your workouts right, right. and stuff. Or with your family. Like, yeah. you literally don't I have do, time. Yeah, yeah, I do a lot of all those things. Way too much of the traveling for, for other people and not for myself. But that's changing. I'm going to Cabo next week. What? For myself. Yeah, I'm, go- I'm so excited. Yeah. That'll be fun. We will be fun. Maybe maybe that's that's the moment. Even if it's just like a weekend romance. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. We'll see. We stories. shall see. Okay, but we do have to... <clears throat> wow, my voice just cracked. I went through puberty just then. Okay. Um, <laughs> so we do have to wrap this up. So um, tell the people where they can find you. Uh, Jesse, tell the people where they can find you on like all, like Not all, at Target. Like, uh, like, like, <laughs> Target. Where is that Target? Where is that Target? It's the one on Fallbrook. So, <laughs> I love how w- um, So... Uh, what... Uh, all my links. Oh, like what's your best? <laughs> one? All right, so like just um, Twitter, uh, Jesse J E S S Y Jones Triple X. Uh, Instagram is that's my fifth, my fifth, my fifth Instagram. Mr. Um, Jones Stud. Mr. Jones Stud M R J O N E S T U D. I'm big fan of Method Man, so it was uh, it's all a Wu Tang thing. Oh, I love it. So anyway, so that and then OnlyFans is. Jesse Jones Triple X. Uh, that you can definitely get a lot. I have like four or five hundred scenes on there, just exclusive stuff that nice. I don't put anywhere else. Um, and then I need to get on your OnlyFans. Jeff. And then what else? What else is there? I I'm banned for life of Snapchat. That's for Not sure. Not there. <laughs> and then uh, Facebook, that's for family. I don't want to yeah. see your ass on there. The I'd say OnlyFans, so Instagram, Twitter. Yeah, those are safe. Those are safe for uh, not yeah. safe for or, work. Not Twitter. Not yeah. safe for work. Yeah, or just check me out on you know Pornhub. Also, there you go. I mean, oh, I, guess I did Pornhub.com. <laughs> I, you know what I'm doing after this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> don't wait, <laughs> Ryan. Tell the people where they yeah. can find you. Um, Across the board, RC and Digger. Uh, if you Google RC and Digger, all of our stuff comes up. We have all, my, all my links, uh, Raw Fuck Club, Just for Fans, Only Fans, many vids. We're on AEBN. We were the first fans couple to get a deal with AEBN. That was about a, two years ago. Nice. So we've got about 20 or 30 movies up, up, up there. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much, Alexander. Oh, well, just oh, real fast, oh, uh, you can also go. vote for them. And Sylvia, for yourself, go to oh, right. f- fleshbotawards.com. You can vote. There's only a few days to, to vote. Um, so get those votes in there, and uh, the winner will be announced November 15th. I forget all about these awards. It's so nice, though. Okay, so thank you guys so much. Thank you to our sponsors, Fleshbot, CyberSocket. Thank you for Jesse. Uh, and, f- oh, my God, I just totally blanked. Um, and. Ryan Cotton. Ryan, Ryan. <laughs> Jesus Christ, and to Ryan for coming to our show. You were looking at his crotch again. My <laughs> God. Uh, uh, it's been a long week. Uh, all right, guys, thank you so much. Uh, and until next time, adios. All right. Thank you. Oh, I'm so sorry. What a jerk. I just literally, like, words flew out of my mouth.